Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Alabama's been the toast of the college football world so far this season, but it's still very early in the season and way too early to start thinking about that crystal trophy. In fact, becoming a champion is largely about maintaining your focus. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 48. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down and 12. Ball on the 46-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 41. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. yard line a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver from the 28 yard line it's first down makes the catch and look out and they push him out at about the 19 yard line not a bad little play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. From the 16-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. That's good for a of one yard. That brings us second and nine. Taken down at the six. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down right around the four-yard line. Two-yard pickup. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end. So they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch.
We're at play number nine of this current drive. Around the one yard line. That's good for the end of the yards. That makes us third and goal. That brings up third and goal. One yard to the goal line. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Alabama. Tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Horned Frogs took the field today ranked 13th, but wanting to prove they deserve a spot in the top 10. We've got a tight one going on here. TCU has the edge, 13-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Alabama Williams is lined up to kick this one off. Patrick deep to return. return. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's to the 40. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. from their own 44-yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. Murphy picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. to the receiver incomplete that pass led him just a little bit too far but still great effort so the referee is going to take a look at several angles now remember he's seeing the same thing we are and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call well i think he came down with it but from up in the booth it's hard to tell after review you play Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. And here's a quick throw. And it's caught. And he's finally shoved out at the 16-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. First and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. He tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down right around the 14-yard line. No gain. That'll bring up third and eight. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Ready! Line up, check! Eagle! Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the four-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-0, Crimson Tide. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Watch 14, watch 14. 
Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Ready. Touchdown, South Carolina. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Wildcats roll into today's game ranked number 19 in the land. The Wildcats hammer that running game and score a touchdown. And for Nance, he scored a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead 14-7 early in the second quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. South Carolina to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets out to around the 38. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 25. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And off to the right. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22. He fights forward to about the 20. Decided to go for it here. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. Davis. Sets up the play action. Strike to his receiver. No good. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. That They're at the five. It's second down. There's a fumble. Picks up the fumble. And he dives forward. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's to the 10. Makes it to the 14. That one got him out of some danger. The offense caught a break there. Great run by this guy to get him out of the face of their own end zone. From their own 14-yard line. First down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That makes it second and six. And he 
he's hit immediately. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. From their own 24-yard line, first down. He makes his way to about the 42. going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set and the defense counters with their dime work pass complete and taken down immediately Fowler picks up about five yards on that hookup South Carolina is going to use their first time out of the half here they're about four yards away here on second down he's scrambling they bring him down. Well, he isn't one of the best players in the country for nothing, Kurt. He is just relentless in his pursuit of the quarterback. He is certainly a first-class pass rusher. have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Hendricks is the deep man awaiting the return. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. The offense comes back out, and as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. He goes downtown. Almost picked off. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. McCollum fields it at the 35. Tackle made at the 45. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. That's a great tackle at the 27 yard line. And 
and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 16. tries to buy some time and they bring him down for a sack on the play well you can't blame the old line when it's the cornerback who gets the sack yep especially when it's a crafty veteran like this guy he does a good job of not giving the blitz away before the snap he gets it up and it's through the uprights This kick return should conclude the first half. Don't be surprised to see some trickery here. Johnson from the eight. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 10-7, South Carolina. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's, it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run some reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. South Carolina is up a field goal. Got some open field. He's out to the 30. Gets to around the 42. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 42. He's at midfield, and he's tackled in the open field. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. No game. That makes it second and ten. From the 46-yard line, second down. Check four, check four. Set. He scrambled. He's tackled at about the 45. Carter looking to get some distance on this one and give his team the field position advantage. He 
He's out of bounds at the 15. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From their own seven-yard line, it's first down. Wants to go long and done. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Fires quickly to the tight end, and they fall on the loose ball. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes his way out to about the 25. That makes it first and 10. Yard line. Call it a game of 14 yards. First down. From their own 39 yard line. First down. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. From their own 42 yard line. Third down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Latimer was the intended target, and that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Battle is the punter. Tackled at the 25 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. South Carolina has a three point lead. Murphy comes away with two yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws and it's incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Roger, Roger. Mike check, 33. 33. Ready. 980. Dumps it out left to the running back. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. Hendricks is back to receive. And he 
makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Right, everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. From their own 44-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Gamecocks in front, 10-7. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. McCollum will be the return man. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. South Carolina is up by three. Hands it off on the delay. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's out to the 30. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. He's to the 40, and they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on their own 44. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. with room to work. Brought down at the 44-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 44. And he just gets rid of it. South Carolina holds a field goal lead. Scrambling around. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Here we go. it out. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Lewis on the tackle at the 33-yard line. 
That makes it second and ten. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Slings it. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Tenth play of the drive. First down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. From the 24-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Murphy gained seven yards on that play. Alabama's out of timeouts. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. That's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big pass. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 10-7, South Carolina. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.